all right what's going on guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be doing my updated halo infinite controller settings um quite a bit has changed but on this new sensitivity i pretty much every game that i've played i don't dip anywhere near under 40 percent accuracy it's always 48 to 49 plus accuracy the other night i had like 63 uh percent accuracy um and you know quick play and rank so I'm really digging the sense. This is by far my best sensitivity I ever had. I thought I'd share it with you guys in case this helps you guys and you know you guys all get better at Halo. So let's go ahead and go into it. So button layout and a thumbstick layout has pretty much been the same. Um, I've been just kind of playing on default just because you know it's whatever. Just most of it's like just modern controls. Um, we have invert look, all that off, invert flight off, hold to crouch on. Uh, for crouch strafing um, to me it's just it's really easy to press um hold to zoom i uh, i have that on hold to sprint i have that off uh movement assisted steering off maintain sprint on this is a crucial one just because you just maintain sprint auto clamber on uh step jump on um so yeah that's pretty much all my controls so let's go ahead and get to my sensitivity so we're on look excel 5 um, I have it all the way maxed up now. Um, I know I said, I think I said in the last video that it was too fast, but the way I have it set up now, I think it's just right. So I have it on five and on horizontal, I have 5.0. So just default and then my vertical six. I like having my vertical higher than my horizontal because it's just easier to hit headshots. Um, in my opinion, when you're in those fights, you just lightly tap uh, more on the stick and boom get a headshot um i really really like having this on five and six definitely would recommend this uh it's really really good especially with the five look excel um but that's not all zoom levels 1.0 uh, move thumbstick uh center dead zone again if you have really bad stick drift you're gonna want to set this up until you no longer have the stick drift um do not copy other people's uh, dead zones it won't help you because everybody's controller is different my controller it's still relatively new so i don't have any stick drift uh, max input threshold honestly um for move max input threshold on the move stick um if you want easier strafes uh set this to max because that way um it's just quicker to move back and forth on the thumbstick you just move really quickly and it will um you just you strafe it's just easier to strafe if you're having trouble strafing but me I have it on zero just because I like how it is um, on zero, everything on zero. Now for look thumbstick, I have this also on zero. Everything on here is zero. Um, yeah, basically the reason why I have it on zero now is now it feels like nothing is really like there is no uh, acceleration curve that much. Um, higher value you know, obviously reduces the slow turn. I kind of like the slow turn. So... I have everything as zero as possible so you know whatever i move in my right thumbstick is just kind of me moving my right thumbstick and that's what i have right now for it and so far it's been treating me really good i um really really enjoying my sense but other than that i haven't had any issues um i love using the pistol on the sense i love using the battle rifle on the sense really really good stuff i'd really recommend this uh to anyone who is looking for different sensitivities to try and you guys like to play on the lower end of sensitivity. Um, like I said, I feel like a beam whenever I play on this sense. So definitely recommend it to anyone. Um, let me know you guys' thoughts. Uh, maybe this is something you guys can build off of. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on this sensitivity. What sensitivity you run. And yeah, um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope everyone has a good day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.